Hey guys, it's Zach from the ConCon channel and in this video I'm going to show you where all the Honcho collectibles can be found in Rise of the Ronin. So the first collectible you are going to get in the Honcho area is the Veiled Edge Banner which can be found at this location. Now you should have already collected it once you have unlocked the camera as it's right next to the photographic studio. But if you have not, it is right here, you can just go ahead and touch the banner. So the next collectible you are going to get in the Honcho area is the Cat. Now what you want to do is you want to start from over here because here is where the entrance is to the building. But just be careful, this is a sleeping cat so you can run up to you get to the door and then just crouch. And then you can just walk up to the cat and pet the cat. So the following collectible is the public order. And you can just come to this location. It's at the top of Honcho. And all you need to do is just come to this area. And you'll obviously just see the enemies standing around. But once you see them, you can start fighting them. Once you have defeated all the enemies, the area will be restored. So the next collectible you are going to get is the landmark, the Zono Hana Pier. All you need to do is come to this part of the poncho area and you'll just run down the path over here this coastal like dock path or whatever you want to call it and it should by the time you get here say that you have visited the landmark the following collectible you can find is the cat which is located at the end of the path where the landmark was all you need to do is just follow along the path and once you get here you'll see that the cat is just sitting at the end of the path and you can go ahead and pet the cute little cat so the next collectible you can get in the honcho area is the photograph. All you need to do is come to where this symbol is right over here and you'll see that all you need to do is just stand over here. You can't actually stand at the back. You need to move a little bit closer. So like at this point and you'll just aim your camera at the ship and you can just take a photo and it should say that your photo was successful. So the next collectible you can get is the landmark, which is located over here. All you need to do is just come to this area and you'll see that there's gates around the area and once you're just inside this area you'll see that you have visited the landmark so the next collectible you're going to get is the landmark all you need to do is come to this area over here and you'll see that there are guards outside you just need to go on the inside of here towards this building and it should say landmark has been visited so the next collectible you're going to get is the cat and it looks like it's in yamashita but actually if you zoom in it's in honcho so what you want to do is you want to come to this area where I'm standing and you'll see that there will be a grapple on this building next to this orange building. So what you want to do is you want to grapple up and then you'll see the gliding thing face towards the building when you're gliding and then you can do this. Then all you need to do is just land on top of the building just like that. And then you're going to go all the way up until you get to the very top and you'll see that the cat is right here and you can go ahead and pet the cat. So the next collectible you are going to get in Honcho is another landmark. All you need to do is just come to this area, which is kind of like the bottom of Honcho. So all you need to do is come into this garden over here and go towards the building. If it does not register that you have visited the landmark, just grab up onto the building and it should say that you have visited the landmark. So the next collectible you are going to get is the Veiled Edge Banner, which can be found at the bottom of the Honcho area where the cat and landmark was all you need to do is come down here and you'll see there will be a road and the veiled edge banner will be right here and you can go ahead and just raise the banner the following collectible is the shrine all you need to do is come to this area down here now you can either go all the way around or you can come to where i'm standing and there'll be a grapple hook on the building and you can just jump over the building like this and then just fall down and you'll see that the shrine is right here and you can go ahead and pray at the shrine so the next collectible is the Veiled Edge Banner, which can be found at this point over here, right next to where the shrine was. Now it's going to be at the top of this big orange building, but all you need to do is just grapple up. Now it's pretty straightforward and you just need to keep grappling up until you get to the very top. And once you get to the top, you'll see that the Veiled Edge Banner is here and you can just raise the banner. So the next collectible you are going to get is the Fugitive Collectible named Genai Inoko. And you'll see that he's actually sitting by a tree and he is sleeping so what you'll be able to do is you'll actually be able to get a sneak attack on him so i recommend putting on a damage buff and just sneak attacking him like this and once you have defeated the fugitive that is the collectible collected so the next collectible you are going to get is the treasure chest which can be found at this location over here now what you'll see is that there will be doors that don't look like they can be opened but they actually can but it'll say that you can only open it from the other side. So what you need to do is you actually need to grapple up over here. You need to grapple over here. And then you need to jump across like so. 
And once you're inside, you'll be able to just hop right down and you'll see that the chest is situated at the back of the room over here. And you can go ahead and just open up the chest and it should give you a nice reward. So the following collectible you are going to get is the treasure chest which can be found at the bottom of the home tree area. All you need to do is come here to where I'm actually standing because you're going to need to grapple up. So you'll, what you'll see is when you're in this area you'll see these bushes and stuff and you'll see that the grapple is located here to the left. And then you'll see that the, the glider is over here and what you need to do is glide away, look back and then glide again. And then you'll need to just fly around the building until you'll be able to grapple again, which is over there. So all you need to do is just grapple all the way up until you get to this point. And then you can just open up the treasure chest and you should get a headband. So the next collectible is going to be another treasure chest, which can be found over here on the ship. All you need to do is just spawn by this failed edge banner. And once you're here, you're going to fly all the way to the ship. And you'll see already that the treasure chest is actually right there at the back of the ship. You can't really miss it. Once you reach the ship, you can just open up the treasure chest and you will get a foreign book. So the next collectible you're going to get is the Veiled Edge banner. Now this banner was quite hard for me to get, but if you come to this location, I'll show you how to get to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to the side here and you're actually going to jump on this building stuff on the side here. And you're going to go over here and you're going to climb and then what you're going to do is you're going to jump on this roof and then you'll be able to actually grapple up because what i've noticed is you actually can't grapple up from the bottom you have to get on some higher ground and it was quite difficult to actually find that higher ground but once you get to the veiled edge banner you can raise the banner so the following collectible is a treasure chest what you want to do is you want to come to where i'm standing over here and you'll see that this is the treasure chest we are going for so all you need to do is come to this door and you'll see that it is going to be in this building just ahead of this one but the easiest way to get to this one is you run on the side here and then you jump onto this building and then you jump onto this building and then you can go inside and it's pretty much like most of the other ones it'll be sitting right here at the back of the room you can just open it up so the next collectible you're going to get is another treasure chest which can be found right here next to the previous one now you're going to need the rusty key in order to open the doors but You'll do that by defeating the fugitive in the area, but once you have this room opened, you can just go ahead and open the chest. It's been your boy Zach from the ConCon Con channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.